What's up, YouTube fans? Today, we're going to do a comparison of the Fans Toys Outrider with the X Transbots Aegis, both versions of a masterpiece Trailbreaker. Now, these figures are a couple years apart. This came out in 2019. This is the Toon repaint that uh, came from X Transbots. And this one just came out in 2022 from Fans Toys. So, there is a few years apart, but we're still going to do a comparison. And as I always mention with these, I try to be as objective as possible, but of course there's subjectivity involved. So if I pick one and you prefer the other, then you win. I really try to do these comparisons to help people make a decision which direction they want to go with their collection. I also have reviews of both of these independently. So if you just want to watch a review to show how to transform it and all everything else that it comes with, then those will be linked at the end of this video in the uh, final s screen. So without further ado, let's get into this comparison and we'll start off with accessories. All right, and there are all the accessories they come with. Very obviously, x is going to win on accessories, but let's go through them just so you can see they, what they come with. They both come with a radar dish for the vehicle mode. Uh, let's see, yeah, so these both mount. The They went with different kind of coloring, but I do like the chrome, but, you, you know, it's nice that uh, this is more cartoon accurate, I guess. They both come with three alternate faces, although the Fans Toys one are pretty close. Uh, and actually, I guess a couple of the the Trex Transbus ones are, are close too, but either way, you get three of each. They both come with a alternate hand to replace the nozzle, so you have a regular hand if you want to. The Fans Toys comes with a blaster, you know, a regular gun, whereas the X Transbots comes with this thing, so I'll just count those even, even though they're different things. And here's what you're left with, a ton of stuff. Uh, I'm not really sure why. I guess if you wanted both hands to be nozzles, you could <laughs> put this on here. Uh, you get the little log and T set. You get a toy head, which is really kind of cool for, you know, a nod to the toy. Pretty neat. And then you get the little effect part for the force field. So you get a lot here with X Transbots, but there you go for accessories. All right, next we're going to talk about the gimmicks, and they both have very similar gimmicks in terms of the weapons. Now, obviously, x has have more accessories, but one thing that they did, which is kind of cool, is they gave you these parts. This allows you to make this look like the toy. You have the toy head, and you kind of the toy weapon, and that is a cool little thing. Kind of like what Acoustic Wave, you know, you could put the parts on. This one doesn't come with any toy parts. So that's a neat little nod to the toy. And the fact that you can do that is really neat. So we're going to give gimmicks over to X Transbots just because they allow you to make this look more like the toy. All right, next we'll talk about the cartoon accuracy. In order to do that, we'll put the G1 image there so you can take a look for yourself. And when it comes to the cartoon, they both have a pretty good look. Um, this is the Toon version, so it's meant to be looking like a cartoon. Um, but having them side by side, it's kind of easier to see the colors. The darker colors on the gray and the darker colors on the white, which is more like a grayish white in the cartoon, um, definitely stand out here. And I think it's, it's going to stand out even more when the Takara Tomy version comes. But right now we're just looking at these two. So I think the white on the X Transbots is just slightly too white compared to the cartoon. So I would say that Fans Toys has a better color here. As far as the look, the head sculpts are both pretty darn good. X Transbots with a little bit bigger of a head sculpt and a little more squared off, whereas Fans Toys has a little bit of rounding. But both of them are good enough to represent the cartoon. The Both of the chests are pretty good. X Transbots went with a little bit lower sitting where you see the joint, whereas Fans Toys went with a higher sitting, but there's a valley here. So both are you know kind of off a little bit, but just fine. The waist area, both have the shape down with these angles here on the legs. Fans Toys went with uh, skirtless hips, whereas x Transbots has the hip skirts here in front. Um, but they both look right. The knees both look very similar. The sculpt on the knees and the, and the bottom legs and the stripe here, they all look very accurate. The only difference is the toe. X-Transbots painted it white, whereas Fans Toys went with the gray. The gray is more accurate. So just by hair... I'm going to give it to Fans Toys because of the grayish color instead of the white here and here. And then also the gray paint versus the white here here on the toe. They are awfully close to the cartoon, both of them. But just those minor differences. And then the shoulder sitting a little bit shorter. I'm going to give it to Fans Toys for cartoon accuracy. Right, next we'll talk about the sculpt. 
And when it comes to the sculpt, um, I think Fans Toys normally wins, and they're going to win again here, <laughs> um, mainly due to the cleanliness. So when you come to the front, it, yeah, they're both pretty good, but as soon as you come to the side, that's where Fans Toys really it just cleans up so nicely. The x transbots you see the wheel, you see the translucent plastic here, kind of can see through the figure. Um, and it's a little bit unsightly. You know, it's not too bad because you got the wheel blocking the hole at least. <laughs> and the Takara version, you can see right through. Um, but this is definitely cleaner and a, and a better sculpt overall. The knees and legs, especially the back, are much cleaner on the fans' toys. It's just a, a smooth leg. It's kind of a magic that they do here. Uh, whereas x transbots although it does you know, end up in a squared off shape, it is not as clean. So I'm going to give Sculpt over to fans' toys. I think they, they just I always nail Sculpt, and this one's no different. They really did nail the sculpt here. All right, next we'll talk about the paint. In order to do that, I'm going to point it out. So on the Fans Toys version, it is pretty much 100% painted with exception to the glass. That is shaded, but uh, pretty much everything you see, even the chrome, that's all um, chromed, chromed, vac chromed, I guess. Um, but it is all paint everywhere on this figure, uh, front and back, and even the vehicle mode. Coming to the X-Transbots, it is nearly 100% painted, but there are a few parts that are not. So these um, armatures right here are unpainted. And then the armatures here are, are unpainted. Everything else is painted. All the gray, all the white, all the red, the accents and stuff. So that is such a minor difference. I'm going to call it a tie for paint. They're both pretty much 100% painted. All right, next we'll talk about the build quality. And this is something, again, where Fans Toys usually excels and where x Bus usually falls down or makes mistakes. Um, as far as this figure is concerned, it is a solid, solid figure. So it's some really nice uh, hardware. It feels good. It's got plenty of die cast. It feels solid. It, it stays together. Um, you know, you plant it, it stays, you know, it just feels good. The, the X-Transbots, uh, specifically in the legs, you've got some loose joints that make posing a little difficult. Unfortunately, they didn't put ratchets here. These are just friction joints, and the friction joints are loose. They came that way. You know, I haven't really messed with this other than the one review. So, you know, that's not great. And then the knees themselves, there's a double-jointed knee, which we'll talk about during articulation, but the lower knee is kind of loose. And that tends to get in the way. And then couple that with the loose feet and ankles, you end up with a floppy joint that, you know, you're, you kind of have to be, you know, very cautiously pose and, you know, get in a position because it tends to flop. So because of the issues with the legs, I am going to give build quality over to Fans Toys. And now we'll go over the articulation and we'll go over each one individually so you can see... Uh, just how they articulate. So for the fans toys, the gun here is on a ball joint, so it rotates all the way around, goes up to there, down to there. Uh, if you try to articulate this armature, it will pop the backpack off, which will in turn pop the head off. And I forgot to mention that in my review, so don't articulate this arm. You don't want to art articulate on the on the ball joint. But uh, this will rotate here on this armature and then up and down here. The head is on a ball joint, but doesn't get a lot of up and down. It goes down to there, up to there, and then rotates around on that joint. And some people have mentioned to me that they had a hard time getting this in. You really need to push from here to attach this head. If you're pushing from the top of the head, you're doing it wrong. And actually, they had that in the, in the Fans Toys video. They show you to do it from here. Then you can push on the top of the head, right? Because there's two tabs back here. All right, continuing on, you have rotation here at the shoulder. You do have this little rear view mirror that gets in the way. It collides in certain positions. So you just got to watch out for that. Shoulder will go up to there on that joint. And it will rotate around. It just gets a little bit in the way. Uh, if you're trying to get the arm out to the side, it is a little bit hindered due to the way it's sculpted. You have a rotation at the bicep. Single jointed elbow gets you a little past 90 degrees, basically. Rotation at the wrist. You have injury articulated fingers at two pins, and then the thumb is on a ball joint and a pin. You have a waist swivel here. You have an ab crunch. It is a friction joint, not, um, not a ratchet, but it does work. You have legs, ratchet, up to there. Back to there, hindered a little bit. 
by the sculpt out to the side on friction rotation at the thigh. Single jetting knee gets you past 90 degrees. Ankle tilt and pivot back and forth. And, and that's really it for hands twist. Moving on to X Transbots, you have a double hinge here for the gun. So there's a hinge there and a hinge there. So you can rotate that up and you can rotate this down so you can get it way up and way down. Uh, same for this, you can rotate it here and here so you can get any of that movement that you need. The head is on a rotating swivel so it gets up to there, down to there, and rotates all the way around. So a little bit more up and down than the fans toys. Rotation at the shoulder all the way around. The rear view mirrors actually rotated out of the way and they stay down. They don't interfere. So that's a little bit better design. You have a ratchet inside, so it gets one click down, one click up. So you get that. And then you have a ratchet inside the shoulder, and that's a soft ratchet. But due to both being there, you can get it up a little bit higher. And it just moves a little more freely because there's a space, right? The, the downside of that is the sculpt, right? The sculpt is a little bit uglier and you see the joint, but it gives you more movement on that. You have a rotation at the bicep. Single to the elbow gets you 90 degrees. Rotation at the wrist. Individually articulated fingers, although the bottom three are pinned together. And then the top one is curled. I never like when they do that. I don't like curled fingers. But you do have, you can point, it's just a little curled point. Continuing down your rotation at the waist. Um, no ab crunch on this one, so that's the one that seems to be better over on Fans Toys. You have a hip skirt here, legs will go up to there, back to there, out to the side, all on friction. Now I already gave them a point for build, but I really wish there was a ratchet here, but it does articulate well. Your rotation at the thigh. You have a double jointed knee, so there's a joint down there. And then there's a joint out there, so you get the full bend out of that knee due to the both joints. And again, I talked about the build quality already. You have ankle tilt out to there. No pivot back and forth. It, it is locked, but you can move the toes here. So this is a tough one. Um, the Fans Toys does have a better waist because you, know, you get the ab crunch and better movement at the feet because you get the pivot back and forth. But the X Transbots has the better shoulders. And I knocked this arm out, but you have the better shoulders because you have two, basically a double jointed shoulder. And they have the better double jointed knee here. And the hip moves further forward and back. So I'm going to give articulation to X Transbots just by a nose uh, because of those double jointed uh, knees and the double jointed shoulders. I think that allows for a little bit more dynamic posing. Now, as far as the stability, that's a different question that we talked about that in build. But as far as articulation, they're going to eke them out. We eke out uh, fans' toys on that. All right, next we'll talk about the transformation and engineering. And this is kind of one, it's unfair because this is an older figure. But two, fans' toys absolutely nailed the transformation on this. It is fun. It's intuitive, it's simple, but challenging enough to be interesting. Uh, I mean, it's one of the best transformations they've they've done. So I've got to give them transformation. This one, it, it's not completely horrible, but it's not fun. So I'm going to give them transformation. As far as engineering, I think Fans Toys was able to engineer a very clean robot mode and vehicle mode to the point where it's almost magical. You know, how did they get it so smooth? So I'm going to give them engineering as well. I just think they nailed the overall design of this guy as far as transformation is concerned. It really is a joy to flip back and forth. So we'll give them both. All right, next we'll talk about the alt modes. And I can confirm the x Transbots transformation is definitely not fun, not enjoyable. Um, one of the things X-Transbots does very often is they require a step or several steps where you have to bend plastic past other plastic. And that's not fun. Uh, and this has a lot of that. So, you know, I'm just confirming, you know, they lost the point on transformation, but I really wanted to confirm. It's not fun getting here. But once you get here, it is a pretty good looking truck. Um, they have a lot of similarities. So let's just talk about, they both have the painted surface up here for this faux window. They both have the chrome grill with the orange fog lights and tail um, turn lights. They both have rubber tires with chrome wheels. They both have the little three stripes there. 
on the back. They both have the taillights. The fan stories with the translucent red, whereas the x trans went with the painted. Now, fan stories went with a painted rear glass, whereas x trans went with a clear. I do like the clear, but unfortunately in this case, I think it was the wrong choice because behind it, you can see all the junk. You can see the white, especially because those parts are white. It's very visible and, and not very good looking in my opinion. So they are similar. The other thing that um, you know, they both have their rear mirrors. Uh, x Transverse kind of did a little better design, at least for the shoulders in robot mode anyway, because they fold out of the way, whereas these kind of just end up still sitting there. So something like that would have been nice on the on the fans' toys. Um, but the real gotcha, and actually, sorry, one more thing. They both have the uh, radar dish. The x Transverse plugs in like that. It is a two-piece thing. I don't know what I, I called this part here, but that's just the mounting bracket for the for the uh, shit radar dish. This one kind of plugs in on the top, but the x bus is fixed in position, whereas this one can rotate and go up and down, so you can kind of pose it. Going up and down, it does pop out, so you kind of have to hold it, but um, you can pose this radar dish, so that's kind of cool. But the real difference maker for me is the translucent glass, but not only that, the fact that you can see what's behind it. So fans toys went with opaque looking glass, so it's kind of obscured. There is still some stuff back there, you can't really see it. And I think that was a really smart decision, and also the stuff that is behind it is sort of a darker color. It's this gunmetal, but on the X-Transbots it's white, and you can see the face and the eyes, and that is really kind of unattractive to me. I don't want to see the face of the robot through the window. So because of those reasons, um, you get the additional movement on this, and also the opaque glass just look a little bit cleaner. And then the top of the roof here just got a lot of breakup. I'm going to give it to Fanstoys. I think they just made a cleaner, better looking vehicle mode. So today we're adding a new category called the Member's Choice. So Member's Choice, I posted this picture you see here on my YouTube page for members and asked them to choose which one has the better appearance overall. So not including cartoon accuracy or toy look or the company name or anything else, just which one do you think looks better? Uh, and the results were 69% for Fans Toys, 31% for x Transbots. So Fans Toys is going to win the Member's Choice category. And the final factor in this comparison is the cost. The Fans Toys comes in at 190 US retail. The x Transbots comes in at 130 US retail. So x Transbots is going to win on cost. Final thoughts on this comparison. You can see the score there. And Fans Toys is going to take this one. And I'm not too surprised because after handling it in the initial review, I kind of felt like this was a pretty strong release. But there are some really good things about the x Transbots. So if you already own this guy and you know, you're happy with them. I'm not sure you'd want to upgrade to this or I don't upgrade, but purchase this. Me personally, the, the areas or the categories where it won are the kinds of things I really care about. So for me, it is worth an upgrade, but for some, it may not be. And if you're already happy with this, then it doesn't really matter anyway. Um, so both really good versions. They do different things better. Um, I, for one, am not somebody who cares that much about accessories uh, and gimmicks. So I, it's not as important to me as the build quality and the transformation engineering. Um, I transform my stuff quite often and most people don't. So that kind of should give you an, a sense of, you know, which one would you prefer, right? Depends on what you what, what you're looking for in your figure. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.